What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're going to be drawing Barley Lightfoot from Onward. And we're going to get started in the center of our page with the eyes. Starting on the left side, we're going to draw a circle. Starting from the very top, just going to work our way down towards the bottom of the eye. And then back up towards the top. Now let's leave a gap in the center and draw the same thing on the right side. So we want to line up the top of the circle. And bring that down towards the same height. And then back up towards the top. Let's pull the iris and pupil towards the inside of the eye. So we're going to draw a small circle, starting from the inside of the eye. And go up, round it out, and then come back in. So line this up on the right and do the same thing. Going up, rounding out the iris, and then pulling that back in. We're also going to add a small highlight circle on the top left of each eye. Starting at the top, pull it in and then back out. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. And now in the center of the iris, we're going to draw a smaller circle for the pupil in behind the highlight. So we start at the very bottom, go around and back out. Do the same thing on the right side. And we'll fill the pupils in black. Now to move to the center and draw on the nose. Let's line up with the bottom edge of the eyes. Starting on the left side, we're going to curve down and back up on the right side. Now let's move up and draw a short curve in the opposite direction of the bridge of the nose. Let's move down and draw on the top edge of the mouth. Starting underneath the left eye, curve down in the middle and back up on the right side. Now we're going to add a bracket just to curve over the corners of the mouth. Let's go back to the left and draw on the bottom of the mouth. We're going to curve down and then back up on the right side. Let's add the top row of teeth starting back on the left. We'll pull this down in the middle and then back up. Now we'll move down and draw on the lower row of teeth. Curving up and then down. Let's fill the inside of the mouth in black. Now I'm going to move back up and draw on the eyebrows, leaving a gap in the center, draw two lines, one on the left and then one on the right. And then from the bottom, we're going to curve out and then down. Let's go back up to the top, we're just going to taper this eyebrow, go out towards the outside point. Let's move out and draw the lower half of the head. From the left eye, we're going to step out, we're going to bump out the cheek. Round this out, and come down in the middle, and we'll work our way back up towards the right side. Going out, rounding out the cheek, and then just hooking that back in. Now going back to the left side, I'm going to draw on the hairline. We go up around the eye and eyebrow, and just pull that in. Just sweep the hair over towards the right. From here, we're going to go across, and then down towards the right eyebrow and then we'll taper that back up and out. Let's add another point to here. Coming out and then down on top of the eyebrow. Taper that back up. And I just want to pull this down towards the top of the cheek on the right side. So we'll go out and then down. Let's add some whiskers along the bottom of the chin. Starting in the center, we'll draw a short line coming down. Add a few more on the outside. Stepping out, we're just going to angle this out I have two on the left, and I have two on the right. Let's go back up to the top and sweep the hair over towards the left side. Starting from this point, go down and then back up. I'm just going to taper that back in towards the side of the head. Let's do an overlap. Stepping up, go down and in. I'm going to curve in the opposite direction, going out and down. I'll we'll pull this up towards the top of the cheek, bending that in. Let's go back to the top and sweep the hair over on the right. Starting from here, move out and then up. Taper that down with a short line. Let's do a longer one. Going out and up and again, pulling that down and then in. 
Let's step up and curve in the opposite direction. Going up and then down. Taper that back in. Let's do another one. Going out and then down. Going that back in. And I'm going to curve this down and then in on top of the cheek on the right. Now I'm going to layer the hat in behind the hair. Starting on the left side, curve up and in towards the middle. We'll round this out and pull that down on the right side. Let's add some lines across the hat. Leaving a gap in the center, go to the left side, curve out and then down. Move over towards the right, go in the opposite direction. Let's do that again. We're going to step out, curve out and down towards the bottom of the hat. Go to the right, do the same thing. Let's add the ears along the side of the head. Starting on the left, draw an angle line, going up and out. Line this up on the right, and do the same thing. Going up and out. Now from here, we're gonna curve this down, and then in behind the cheek. Let's do the same thing on the right. Just gonna pull this out a bit further. Come down, and then in. We're also gonna add that fold in the ear. Starting from the tip, we'll step in, we curve in, and then down. Do the same thing on the right. Stepping in, curve in, and just pull that down towards the top of the cheek. All right, so now that we complete the head, let's work our way down the body. We start with the sides of the body first. Starting on the left side, underneath the head, curve out, and then down towards the hip. Go over towards the right, and do the same thing. Now I'm drawing the bottom of the vest. Going back to the left side, curve down and in. We want to leave a gap in the center. Do the same thing on the right, and then we'll pull this straight up underneath the head. Let's add the collar of the vest. Starting from the top, angle down and out on both sides, and we'll pull that straight up underneath the head. Let's add in the shirt collar. Right in the center, underneath the chin, we're going to add a V. Now from the left side, we're going to curve out and up underneath the vest and do the same thing on the right. Now from the bottom of the vest, we're going to step up and draw a curve, coming down and then up. Let's add three buttons on the left side of the vest. Starting from the top, we'll add a circle, move all the way down towards the bottom, add another circle, and then halfway in between, we'll add one more. Then we're gonna add some random patches across the vest. So let's start on the right side, curve in and then down, flatten off the end, and follow that same curve going back up and out. Let's add a circle along the bottom. Now let's go to the left side. From here, we're gonna draw a straight line coming in, and down, and we'll just angle down and out towards the outside. Now we're gonna continue working down with the legs. In the center, let's move down and draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down. Leaving a gap in the center, go to the left side, curve out, and then bend that down towards the left heel. Move over towards the right, go out, and then bend this down towards the right heel. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the heel, come down, and bend that up towards the toe. Do the same thing on the right. Let's go back to the left and draw on the top of the foot. From the toe, we're going to curve up. I'm just going to bend this down, aiming towards the heel. We'll stop right about there. Then we'll angle up and in towards the inside of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving up towards the top of the foot, bending that down, angle up and in. Let's add some detail to the shoes. We're going to start with the sole. We want to take this curve, step up, and then just trace that across on both sides. And then we're going to add a toe cap, starting on the outside of the foot, curve in, and then down towards the sole. Let's go back up to the hip and draw on the side leg. Starting from the left, curve out, I'm just going to pull this down to right about there, do the same thing on the right side. Now let's round out the bottom of the short. Starting from the left side, we're going to curve down and back up, do the same thing on the right. And then from the bottom corner of the shorts, we're going to step in, draw a straight line coming down on top of the feet. Let's add the socks. Starting from the top of the foot, a 
a straight line coming in. Let's add the pockets along the side of the shorts. Starting from the bottom corner, we're going to step up, a short line coming in. We're going to follow the same curve of the leg going up towards the top, angle up and out. Do the same thing on the right. Stepping up, a straight line coming in, curve up the leg, and then angle up and out. Now we're going to go back up and draw on the arms. We're going to start halfway down the side of the body, starting right here, we're going to curve out and down towards the wrist. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now I'm going to go back to the left side and draw on the thumb. Draw a small half circle coming in and then back out. And then we'll add a bracket. Now the thumb on the right side is a little bit different. We're going to start with that small half circle coming in and then out. Then we'll connect the bottom of the thumb to the wrist with a curve going up and then in. And now we'll add three fingers on either side. Starting from the bottom curve of the thumb, come down and then up, step down, curve down and up the second finger. And then the third finger, we're gonna go out, up, and just pull that in underneath the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the bottom of the thumb, curve down and up, on the second finger. And then again, the third finger is gonna go round, up, and then in behind the head. Let's add the sleeve of the shirt. Start from the top of the arm on the inside, and we'll go up, and then bend that out on both sides. Let's stay on the right side and add the cast. Start from the bottom of the thumb, we're gonna curve out, cross the fingers, and then up. And then from the thumb, we're gonna step up, curve up, and then out toward the outside. And then we'll add the wristband on the left. Starting from the top of the thumb, we curve up and then out. Step up and just follow that same curve coming in. Let's add the spikes across the wristband. Starting on the outside, start with a circle. We'll add another one on the inside. Let's add two spikes on the outside of the wristband. Starting on the left, straight out. And we'll angle down and in. Let's do the same thing on the inside. Coming down and coming straight across. I'm going to add a little bit of hair coming down from behind the head. Let's start underneath the earlobe on the left side. Curve down and out. Taper that back in. We'll do one more time. Coming down and out. And then pulling that back in behind the head. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Starting underneath the earlobe. Curve down and out. Pull that back in. And we'll do that one more time. Pull that in behind the head. And that's pretty much it. There's Barley Lightfoot from Onward. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.